the life. Uh-huh. You have no children? No children. You've been married for under a for a year. Yes. So you got married to your husband because he gives you a good life. What does that mean? He gave you a place to stay? No. I've been with him since I was 19 years old. Mm, and he was 66? He's 79. Mm, okay, make up your ages, ma'am. If you're gonna... Hello, Nalia? Hello? Nalia, is that your... How to pronounce your name? Yes. How do I pronounce your name? Nyla. All right, how old are you? 23. All right, so what are we talking about? What a question do you have? I want to divorce my husband. What? I want to divorce my husband. Okay. He's a high value man. All right, I'm listening. What, are, what do you want me to do about it? You want to divorce your husband? He's a high value man, and the expectations. I expect, to, I expect, to, I expect you to be able to communicate with me. I don't know what you're talking about, ma'am. I don't know you. I want to divorce my husband. He's a high value man. Okay, what's next? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with this woman? Like you ain't rehearsed this shit. Like, let's you, you get to the damn point. You want to divorce? You want to divorce your husband? Okay, we got we. You got our attention. What's what's happening, man? Damn. You if you rehearsed the story, you've been waiting all this time, Nyla. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> How long have you been married? A year. Hmm. You have any children? No children. Thank Jesus. How old is your husband? <laughs> My husband is 70 years old. Mm hmm What year was he born in? 44. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, so if you're going to try to troll me, you should do better than this. If you're going to try to come in here and troll and do something like that, you should come with a better story. 23, she said her husband was at 73. You know, you got a man that's 60 years old, uh, excuse me, 50 years older than you. And you don't know when he's born. And you looking in the corner. Like, y'all want attention that bad? Is it that serious? Anyway, let's let's see how this turns out. Well, my yeah, husband. yeah, uh huh. Okay, sure. Yeah, uh huh. You don't know your husband's birthday? He was born in forty-four. That math don't even work. Why are you here? Nineteen. Why are you here? My husband is seventy-nine. Uh huh. And I'm twenty-three. Yeah, yeah uh huh. No, you're a fool, but that's okay. And here's my ring. Mm hmm. Cracker Jack has rings and boxes all day long. You keep looking off to the side because somebody's feeding you information. Mm -hmm. Why are you here? I mean, seriously, though. 23 years old. Don't you have anything better to do? Facts. I'm not trolling, Kevin. Uh-huh. Okay. At all. Then who's in the room with you? My daddy. He he wanted me to call in, and I've been nervous all day watching your video. But why do you want to do... Why are you married to... A, if, you, if you're married to a 70-year-old man... Yes. I why? Think. Why? Well, I love my husband. Okay, well, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So why? Uh-huh. <laughs> you You've been nervous all day. You, now it's time to perform. You got stage fright. You got bad lighting. And somebody's feeding you. And you, somebody's feeding you information. You keep looking. 2370. It's 47 years difference. Yeah, I, I want to hear this. Get out. I love him so much that I want to divorce him. Here's my ring. In a year. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Are you off your meds, man? I'm going to get somebody who's... Who, see, I want you guys to understand that how the level of seriousness... Now, I'm going to judge your issue, ma'am. Because, um, first off, you need to straighten your face up. I don't know who you think you're dealing with, but I don't, I don't play that shit. Okay. Is you talking to me, Kevin? Is you talking to me? Yes, I is talking to you. Straighten your face up. I don't play that shit. Okay. Because I had you open earlier and I heard you went all in the background. What is your attitude? What is this? You called on the show. What can I help you with? Because what are you here for? Okay, well, can you act like you can at least be respectful? You came in the first time. I'm 23. I want to divorce my husband with a funky ass look on your face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for having an attitude. And I was nervous. I'm sorry, Kevin. Who's in the room with you? Hmm? Who's in the room with you? My daddy. My dad. My dad, okay. who I haven't seen in years. Fine. While you've been married for a year, why did you get yeah. married? I got married to my husband. He gave me a great life. I asked you, why did you get, I asked you, why did you get married? Why did I get married? Mm-hmm. Because I love my husband and he gives me a good life. Uh-huh. You have no children? No children. You've been married for under a for a year. Yes. So you got married to your husband because he gives you a good life. What does that mean? He gave you a place to stay? No, I've been with him since I was nineteen years old. Mm, and he was sixty six. He's seventy nine. Mm, okay, make up your ages, ma'am. If you're gonna this girl all over the place. He's seventy nine. Wasn't he 73? Then he was 70. Now he's 79. You was with him since he was 19. We need attention that bad. And your dad is right there. Ah, uh, do better. First he was 79, 79. Pick up something. I you, Kevin, I'm not lying to you. Uh, I don't, ma'am, I don't care if you, I mean, I'm going to use this anyway, but you, first you said one thing, then you said something else. I mean, what's his first name? Let's do that. Gil. Uh-huh. Right. Mrs. And it, it, it's okay. Gil, huh? This is my husband. Uh-huh. I mean, I saw that picture floating around. This is my husband. Uh-huh. So why why is why is he not with you? why is your daddy there and he not there? Facts. I, I saw the picture floating around. Why is it why is your daddy there and he's not there? Cause I left. Mm -hmm. Keep going. If you want to divorce him, bye. Does she speak in sentences only five words or less? Like it's just. Da -da -da -da. If I was 70, I couldn't be talking to no one. Get the hell out of here. Do your thing, and I need you to go. Come back here when I call you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, bye. I mean, you act like I'm supposed to tell you to what, stay? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. But I have to live a regular life. Mm, cause you're a basic chick. At what? best, you live a regular life, cause you're basic, hella basic. <laughs> <laughs> basic with a bad attitude. I hope Gil go ahead and leave him before he decides to get smart and let you go. I'm natural, honey. Mm, a natural fool. Natural fool. I'm natural. A, I'm pretty. A natural fool. A natural fool with a bad attitude. Who's gonna wreck? Who gets on? Who's gonna get out here and realize the world don't owe you shit? 
when you get out of here and ain't your this dude who you say is your husband ain't coming for you and your dad ain't doing shit for you, you gonna get out of here and realize you are a natural fool. Mm-hmm. Bad attitude. What what did you graduate high school? Two thousand and nineteen. Mm-hmm. What year did you graduate college? I did. She's 23 and she graduated high school in 2019. That was two years ago. She's 23, right? 2019 was two years ago. She she graduated high school and she was 21. Two years of college. Mm Mm-hmm. So you got all this attitude, all this twisted up face. Why are you so goddamn angry at 23? I'm not angry. Oh, yeah, you are. Oh, yeah, you are. You, you're something. You're not no. a pleasant person. Why are you this way at 23? I'm very pleasant. Okay, right. Why are you this way at 23? Because you call, you want to get, you You say your so-called husband gave you a good life, yet you call him talking about you want to divorce him. What girls wish to have. Mm-hmm, right. And, and they're and they going to get it when you leave. I mean, why are you bragging about something you want to leave? Right. That's why I say you, you talk like a kid. I mean, you sitting there, I mean, think of, look at this look on her face. She's sitting there, I make girls like they wish they had. Man, yet you talking about leaving it. What you gonna have when he's gone? Why is she leaving? Did she answer the question yet? Why are you leaving, baby? Why are you leaving? You left. Okay, let's get into it. Damn. Daddy, that's why you made me call him. Oh, uh, no, he, he probably tried to help you so you don't screw up your life, but you're determined to fuck it up. So I say knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. How, how old is your daddy? He in his 30s? He in his late 30s, 40s? What, what he got you? I can't help you, baby. Maybe you need to contact Kevin. That way he can tell you to stay with this old motherfucker that's old enough to be my granddaddy. Anyway, let's get back to it. This is why I recommend therapy so much because the level of entitlement with so many of these young ladies, I want you to listen to this, the hostility. Acting, looking like like the world owes you something. When's the last time, when's the last time you actually worked or had a job? A year and a half ago. Okay, so how do you plan on taking care of yourself when that old man dies? Hmm? Oh, you think, oh, oh, you're, oh you're, we're going to take care of you. You're going to find somebody else? Not after, this, not, after, not after this video, you won't. I'm going to take you care of to, myself. Uh-huh, right. You ain't worked in a year and a half. You got two years of college, so you say... Yeah, huh. You got minimum wage skills and a bad attitude. Man. Hmm. Just tell me I'm wrong. What's, what's, your, what's your associates in? I'm an awesome woman. Mm-hmm. I get it. I know you I know you're good at I know you're good at pumping yourself up. But what are your associates in? Associates in black girl attitude. I'm an awesome woman. You're not a woman. You're a child. Your father likely, whoever told you to call, likely was trying to give you an intervention. But there's no helping people like a woman like yourself. You need to get out there where you belong. She's just making these statements like she's reading off one-liners off cue cards. I'm an awesome woman. I'm all natural. I left my husband. Baby, expound. Can you talk for like three more than one cent more than one sentence like that's what i want to i want to hear the reason why let's get down to let's get down to that what's the reason why you get out there and belong and do what you're supposed to do she belongs to the streets she belongs to the streets you know and this is what i mean this is what i mean guys this is what i need you to understand when you see the face of entitlement don't think you're going to change it. Look at her. She can't get it. She doesn't get it. She's like, what the hell? My farts smell like, my farts smell like a uh, perfume. 
Mm-hmm. See, I will tell you what often you see is it. Let's just say this is true, which I doubt any of it's true because she can't even keep a lie straight. What we're seeing right now is a scared girl. That's the face of fear. That's the face of fear. But in our community, this right here often masks itself as strength, which comes across as attitude, because that's the only way women like her can actually feel like they have some control in their life, and they can actually feel like they can be heard. That's why you see so many women like her, they they get tend to get loud and attitude and this and that, is because you got to look at not them, but the little scared girl in the corner that they're trying to protect. That's why I always recommend therapy, because in public, there's always this this air of bravado and a show. It's that ego. That ego is that protector. If I get loud and project this, this protecting my ego is protecting me. So instead of me feeling inferior, I'm just going to project project this instead of communicating effectively, as I say repeatedly. I got this persona and I have to keep this up. With this chip on my shoulder. Baby, you ain't even spoke more than one sentence. It's just a matter of explaining what it is that you're trying to do. Instead of getting getting your face, you know, you're trying to be the guest of the week. Or you're trying to be the guest of the night. Or be a special guest on it. But you're not even talking. And if your daddy is there, what the hell kind of man is that? Sheesh. She's protecting herself the best way she knows how. That's why I'm like, alright. I keep taking little dings at it. Um, but when this is all over, when this conversation is over, un unlike most people in her life who just kind of blow her off, I'm actually talking through her. She's going to hear some of it, whether she wants to or not. I mean, you don't get to be this age and be this hostile, this much attitude. But life has a corrective uh, effect on us all. So... Uh, I don't know what she thought she was doing, but if you are married, kudos, but men see this. And that's the thing you ladies need to recognize. The men that you would like to date in the future see you ladies. And what's going on now is a lot of guys aren't even taking the time to have sex with y'all. They're just deciding to get, get gone. A lot of guys are like, man, I don't even want, I don't even want, I don't even want to, have, I don't want to hit that. I'm just be up out of here. And that is becoming a norm, man. It's like you're just stepping away from a headache altogether. And I don't want to say that whole going your own way, but it's like, why create problems for yourself by dealing with someone that is that can't communicate, that's ungrateful that gaslights you and things like that, it's better to be alone at the end of the day than deal with some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Even if the buns are official and everything is Gucci. Nah. <laughs> I know, right? I know. And the ladies are like, why is she so angry? I don't know. That's she's that's hurt. That's hurt. That's what it is. That's nobody taught her how to act. That's what it is. No one taught her how to act. So that's hurt masquerading as strength. Now, uh, I think this is the same chick. Is this the same chick that was uh, you see floating around the internet with the 35 year old or the old ass husband? <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring y'all in. If you want to come on in, come on in. Get on camera. And you sit there. You can sit there, young lady. You know, I'm not mad at you. I know you're young and scared. I know. I know you're young and scared. It's God's true beef maker. And I don't know. I haven't put a light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from go. Blessings we send to the ghetto youth, them.